Electric charge. When you take two non-metallic objects, such as a plastic ruler and animal fur, and rub them together, you get an interesting effect. Before they're rubbed, the plastic ruler is held over bits of paper and nothing happens. After the rubbing, the plastic ruler is held over the bits of paper and they're accelerated towards the ruler. So here is a picture of before the rubbing. Then we rub the ruler with the fur, and then after, you can see the paper is attracted to the ruler. Click here for a video demonstration. Since the paper bits were accelerated upwards against the force of gravity, what interaction was occurring between the ruler and the paper? A force. It has been known since ancient times that when certain materials are rubbed together, they develop an attraction for each other. And this can be seen today when you take clothes out of a dryer. In ancient Greece, people noticed that when thread was spun over a spindle of amber, the thread was attracted to the spindle. The Greek word for amber was electron. Hence, this force was called electric. Further experimentation showed that certain materials would attract each other after rubbing, while other materials would repel each other. It was also found that after some time passed, the effects would wear off. It was thought that something was being exchanged between the materials, and this something was later named charge. Because objects would be repelled or attracted, it was postulated that this charge came in two types. In the 18th century, Benjamin Franklin named the two types of charge when he observed the attraction between a rubber rod and animal fur when they're rubbed together. Benjamin named the charge on the rod negative, and the charge on the fur, positive. When a glass rod is rubbed by silk, the rod acquires a positive charge and the silk obtains a negative charge. The two negatively charged rubber rods would repel each other, and a negatively charged rubber rod would be attracted to a positively charged glass rod. No new charge is created. Instead, it's just separated. The positive charge acquired by one object is exactly equal in magnitude and opposite in sign to the charge lost by the other object. What is another way of saying this? Electric charge is a conserved quantity. The total amount of electric charge in a closed system remains constant. It is neither created or destroyed. It is a conserved quantity just like energy, linear momentum, and angular momentum. When two dissimilar objects are rubbed together, this is called charging by friction. Electronegativity is how attractive a material is to electrons. When you rub two objects together, the more electronegative object becomes negatively charged. It attracts electrons, while the other object loses electrons and becomes positively charged. When you rub a balloon on your head, the balloon has a higher electronegativity than your hair. Therefore, electrons move from your hair to the balloon. The balloon is negatively charged and your hair is positively charged. Since opposites attract, the balloon will now stick to your head.